slow, so I take a boat. Once we're inside, just keep quiet for a bit. Let me take the lead. My long lost daughter returns at last. I trust you have my elder school. Wow! You are vampires. Not just vampires. We are among the oldest and most powerful vampires in the sky. I offer you my blood. Ew. Take it and you will walk as a lion among the sheep. Behold the power! I called it. Ew. Oh my lord! That I, offer. I refuse your gift. So be it. I vanish. Oh. Why? Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's E. Young here and welcome to Skyrim Dawn Guard. Let's play as Dawn Guard episode number 3. In this episode, we're gonna continue pursuing the Dawn Guard main quest storyline and uh, I actually wanted to construct some more bolts using the smithing system but it turns out that before I can do that, I have to learn the schematics and the only person who can teach me, from what I know, is this person called Soreen Gerard or whatever. It's uh, part of the main quest. So I'm gonna do this mission first before I construct some more bolts. Uh, so it looks like I'm gonna have to uh, use the bow and arrow for now in this quest and once I learn the schematics and all that I'll start using the crossbow so goodbye crossbow for now I'll miss ya but I'll see you later we'll be reunited again soon but for now let's use the nightingale bow alongside some steel arrows since uh, I have a like a ton of those and uh, let's do it let's go let's check the map to see if there's any close locations uh, okay, so is that where I have to go? Recruit Gunmar and Soreen. I, I want to recruit Soreen first. So where is Soreen? Oh, there's another quest marker right here. So it looks like I have to go here for Soreen. Oh god, that is, it's pretty far away. Um, let's see if there's any good spots to start from. I could start from here, or I could start from here. Ah, damn, I don't know. This place is pretty far away. Maybe we could go go to the stables and find a horse. Hold on, let's see. Uh, it's closer from here, so let's start from here. And uh, move our way down. Southwards. And hopefully this will not take too long. And hopefully we can make ourselves some bolts as soon as possible. But, uh, let's see. We gotta go up there somewhere. So, hold on. Yeah, that's the south. So yeah, we gotta follow the road, if there is any. Uh, so let's go this way. Shoot that rabbit in the face! Ah, oh, I missed. Nope. Damn it! My bows. One more, one more. Oh god. Slow motion style. Hurrah! Oh, what's up? Oh, I am having rabbit stew tonight. Not really, I just wanted to show off. Kinda failed though, I missed like two times. But anyways. Let's follow this road and hopefully it'll lead us to that quest marker. So far so good, it's uh, facing directly over there, so... I just hope I'm not ambushed by some sort of saber cat or something. I hate those things. They always end up killing me. But, uh, pretty peaceful for now. So, everything seems to be going good. Let's, uh, how do I traverse, get past this mountain? Uh, looks like I'm gonna have to, uh... Yeah, go around. Oh my god! Holy crap! What was that? Oh, it's a freaking dragon! Oh, sneak increased. Very nice. I approve. Okay, so it looks like there's a dragon right there. And uh, I'm, I'm not in the mood of fighting a dragon right now. So I'm gonna just move away really slowly. Just rolling around until I feel like throwing up. So far, I feel good, so I'm just gonna keep doing this. I think when you're rolling around, the stamina bar represents uh, the stamina of your stomach. See how long it takes until you start throwing up? I think that's more realistic. I should make a mod like that. That if you keep ro rolling around and your stamina depletes, your player, throw your player character throws up. Now that is what I call immersion. Okay, when we're out here in the fields, what is this place? Have I discovered this? Let's discover this and then continue. Maybe we can come back to this later. Oh, we want to discover as many landmarks as possible, that way uh, we can fast travel easier. What is this? Oh my god, the dragon is all over me. 
Is this not a landmark? That is weird. This dragon needs to just back off. I'm gonna just roll out of here. Hopefully the dragon won't uh, notice me. Hold on, let's let's discover this uh, landmark first. Let's quick save it first, in case the dragon. Oh god, the dragon's gonna up. Oh, he saw me, son of a bitch. And it's not a landmark. Great. All right, let's run. Let's bolt. Let's get out of here. Uh, what, what way do I go? Is it this way? Is that that marker? Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Oh look, there's a road. So we just follow this, and we should be there in no time. A little bit of pop in there. Kind of sucks. Pretty crappy looking. What is that? place. Is that an enemy? Let's see. Yeah, oh yeah, that's gotta be an enemy. Your face. Oh, you did. You did. Oh, damn. I should have hold, held that down longer. Hurrah! You did. They can see me? Oh my god! Holy sh crap! Die, sucker! Your face! Damn, you scared me. Oh, they go! Oh my god! Holy sh... God! Oh man, that scared the hell out of me. Let's kill these guys. They deserve to die. You have my permission to die. What's up? Damn, son. Looks like I discovered a landmark. Very nice. Let's keep moving. Let's see if they have anything. I'll take the arrows. These arrows are so freaking weak. They only deal like seven damage. Screw that crap. Uh, let's uh continue walking down the road. Hopefully we get to Soreen pretty soon. Oh god! These guys are uh, force one, I'm guessing. Let's shoot him in the face! Oh god! Oh lord almighty! I feel so bad for you, son. What happened there? Wow! That is just hilarious! Oh man, dude! I feel so bad for you. Oh, not really. I'll take the arrow, so thanks. Ew, what, what is that, a fly? Hmm. Well, that's a nice view. Anyways, let's keep going. Ooh, you, sir. No. You shall not trick me. Am I going the right way? I feel like I'm... I've lost my way. Nope, I am I am heading the right way. We get the, into this road, make a left. We should get there pretty soon. So, this is going pretty well, so... Oh, who's that? Who's this? Person. Let's pickpocket his ass. Eh, there's nothing interesting here. What's up, homie? Hello there, fellow traveler. Hello there! I'm an itinerant minstrel and wandering wastrel at your service. What? This guy's a minstrel? Wow, he must make great business in uh, the middle of nowhere. So, hey, ah, teach me about speechcraft. Well, after a little incident with a roguish lad and uh, the daughter of a prominent Thane. Well, let's just say, best not. What? Afraid not. But if you're serious about sharpening that tongue, you might try the Bard's College in solitude. Oh, sounds great. Thanks for nothing. You know what I do with people who, well, just don't offer anything to the table? I shoot him in the face. Aw, oh, damn. Aw, oh, damn. No, don't you dare run away from me. Nope. Nope. That's what I thought. There you go. That's more like it. Ooh, nice sword. Let's see, what do you have here? I'll take your arrow, which is mine, actually. Um, dragon's tongue. Hmm. The wolf queen, huh. Why am I taking this? I have, I have no idea. Water breathing. Wheat. Whatever. Okay, cool. Let's continue. Oh, look at that. Yeah, as you guys can see, I love just shooting anything I find. In the face, I just uh, just can't help myself. These are some saber cats, relatively strong, but they're not snow saber cats, so it's all good. Did I hit him? Nope. Way off. Oh, oh man. Oh god. Oh, right in the whatever that was, lungs maybe. Oh, here we go again. In the face. In the face. Oh my god, it just breezed his skin, and it somehow did a lot of damage. Look at that. I think I heard like a, maybe a hair. Man, it must have been painful. But now these, right here, that's another story. Let's take that. Ooh, look at these eyeballs. No, thank you. Oh man. 
sniping is just so much freaking fun. It's it's not fun at first, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, the first time, you you know, once you put up Skyrim, you start a new game. Archery is not the strongest thing ever. But once you really start getting into the, you know, mid-game and, uh, you know, the late game, man, it gets really, really fun. Especially hunting animals like that. And rabbits. I hunt everything. Oh, look at these cute little wolves. Dead, sucker. Oh, you coming after me, homie? Dead. In the face. Who else with some of this? In the face. Nobody else. Cool. Let's keep going. So, Rain, buddy. I, is that it? Is that her camp? Oh, there she is! Hello, buddy! Ah, I've been looking for you, Sorin. How do I make bolts? Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. You haven't seen a sack full of dwarven gyros lying around, have you? Gyros. I I left it right here. Man. Do you think mud crabs might have taken it? I saw one the other day. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if it followed me here. Oh, mud crabs. I hate it when they come up. Look around, will you? In conversations. Isran asked me to find you. Isran wants me? Damn right. No, you must be mistaken. He made it exceedingly clear the last time we spoke that he had no interest in my help. I find it hard to believe he's changed hmm. his mind. He said some very hurtful things to me before I left. Oh man. Anyway, I'm quite happy in my current pursuits. So if you'll excuse me. Did he call you a nerd? Because you like all this, you know, all this Dwemer stuff. He's like, nerd! Get out, nerd. We're tough guys. We don't need nerds. And that hurt your feelings. I feel ya. I feel ya. It's okay. Uh, vampires threaten all of Skyrim. We need your help. Vampires? Really? Really. For oh, realsies. I suppose now he remembers that I proposed no less than three different scenarios that involved vampires overrunning the population. Hmm. Well, what are they up to? No, nothing. They just, they're just going to use the Elder Scroll to destroy everything that we know. Yep, they have an Elder Scroll. They have an Elder Scroll. I... Well, that's actually something I never would have anticipated. Me neither, trust me. Interesting. I'm not sure what they would do with one, but in this case, Isran is probably correct in thinking it isn't good. Hmm. All right. If nothing else, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to learn more about what's going on so I can better defend myself. Sounds good. But I'm not just going to abandon what I've been working on here. It's too useful. I need at least one intact dwarven gyro. Oh, God. So either I need to find the satchel those mud crabs stole, or I need another gyro from someplace. You wouldn't happen to have one, would you? There's no time. You need to get moving now. I'm sorry, but ah. I'm not about to do that with at least a single gyro to show for my efforts. You idiot. Isran and I still need your help. I understand that, but I really can't leave here without at least one usable piece of dwarven equipment. Dang it! A single gyro would be enough, I think. Believe me, this is useful stuff. Yeah, I'm sure as the world crumbles, I'm pretty sure that is quite useful. Alrighty, fine, let's go look for freaking gyros. Let's... Are there any mud crabs around here? Looks like we're gonna have to find those damn creatures. Highly popular in the... Oh, hell no! Come on! Why a dragon now? Oh, there you are. Look at you. Oh, God. Oh, God. Out of my face. Oh, God! Holy crap! What the freak? And he has nothing. Damn it! Come on! Shoot. What? What? Did he, did he just talk to me? Oh, God. Oh, no! I'm gonna die. I need to... Oh, damn. What is going on here? Uh, restore health. There you go. Okay, I need to find a good, uh, good place to hide. Oh my god, these mudcrafts. Holy crap! A frost dragon, huh? Oh, mudcrafts, distract him! Nice! Keep him busy. No, 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 no! No, damn it! Son of a bitch! Son of a bitch! Stop it! No! I almost died there again. Crap, how. Okay, I'm gonna have to use his skin and some dragon shouts. And, uh, just, holy crap, I am, I don't know. Okay, powers, no, favorites, okay, um, 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 um. Let's become ethereal for a second. There we go, thank god. Okay. Let's get out of here. Hurrah! Okay, now what do I do? Uh, his skin, his skin, his skin. Where is his skin? There he is. 
I Hiskin, and then I Dragon Rend your ass. Dragon Rend your face, motherfucker! What's up? Critical strike your face. Okay. You should land pretty soon. What the hell is he doing all the way up there? What the freak? Okay, I'm just confused right now. Well, he's distracted. Let's uh, check out these mud crabs. Are there any mud crabs around here? I think Dragon killed them all. Okay, where do these mud crabs go? Oh, here's one. Nope, nothing here. Aw, oh, damn, he's back. Shoot, I missed. Ooh, Safru! What's up, homie? Oh, there's a mud crab. Mud crab, mud crab. Ah, uh, please tell me you have something. Nope. Looks like I'm gonna have to go back to Black's Reach and uh, find the gyro. Oh, look, he landed over there. Alright. Gotta hit him a few times. Let's use, uh, damn. Fire breath. Uh, fire breath, sure. Your tour! Sucker! Oh, I missed, I think. Dragon ran his face again. Ah, oh, damn. Gotta focus on mudcrabs and dragons. Dragons all at the same time. I don't know if I can do this. Okay, he went away. Where is the damn mudcrab? You know what? Forget the mudcrabs. Let's focus on killing this dragon first. Where'd he go? There he is. Dragon rend. Your face! Where'd he go? Oh, there you are. Oh, come on. Where'd he go? He landed all the way over there. Why does he have to do that? Oh, he's gone. Huh. Okay, that works for me, to be honest. Screw that dragon. Okay, let's, uh, what have she said? I need to search mud crabs, right? One of the mud crabs took it. Oh, there's a few. Oh, there's another one right there in your face. Nice. Do you have anything? Oh, come on. Maybe there's, uh, something I'm missing here. Some sort of, uh... She said she had a satchel, right? So I'm guessing the mud crabs took it somewhere around here. So... How the hell am I supposed to find that? I'm guessing it's near the lake, because that's, that's usually where mud crabs are, uh, usually inhabit. So let's, let's try to look for them in the lake. If we can't find anything... I'm gonna go to Black Street and, and just uh, loot loot one of these. They shouldn't be shouldn't be too hard to find. Okay, nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing here. Nope. Damn. Anything here? This is an ore. Silver, huh? Oh, I have a pickaxe. Oh, cool. Let's let's do that, I guess. A little bit. Get some ores for uh, maybe some some bolts that I might be able to make. All right, cool. Ore vein is depleted, and I cannot find any sort of satchel. That dragon distracted me. I feel like I could have if that dragon hadn't come out of nowhere. Any more mud crabs? Oh, I found it. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh man. Ah, oh, I feel good today. Let's go back to... What's her face? Her, yeah. Great. I, I collected like seven. I don't need all seven of those, but... Alrighty. There they are. Just one gyro. I understand that, but a single gyro would be enough, I think. Here, I've got a dwarven gyro. Take it. You dumb Thank bitch. You. It's not much, but this will help a great deal with some things I've been researching. Oh god, she is a nerd. Now, where is it Ethron expects me to go? We're meeting at Fort Dongard. Ah, been working more on his secret hideout, has he? It'll be interesting to see how much progress he's made. Not much, trust me. I'll finish up here and head in that direction as soon as I can. See you there. All right then. Yeah, right now, Fort Dongard can be described as a whorish 
hot blonde. Essentially, from the outside, it looks amazing, right? On the inside, though, mm, not so much. So, yes, Fort Dongar right now is a whorish uh, female blonde who's very hot on the outside, but not so much on the inside. Does that, does that make it clear? Nope. Yes? Okay, good. So she's going to meet me at Fort Dongard. So let's head over there right now. I'm going to head over there, and hopefully she'll teach me how to how to make the bolts. If not, I'm going to have to find the other dude as well, and maybe then it will teach me. But uh, where's Dongard? Hello, Fort Dongard. Where did you go? Oh, there it is. Nope, that's Fort Greenwall. I just got played. Broken Hollow. Where, where's Fort Dawnguard? It's in the corner somewhere, right? Wow, what the heck? What's going on here? Fort Dawnguard should be here. Fort Greenwall? Wow, what is going on with me today? Where did Fort Dawnguard go? No, th wait a second. Oh, hold on a second. Oh, there it is. Okay. I thought I was going crazy for a second. It's all good, guys. Just gotta wait a little bit. Okay, so I'm guessing she should be in here somewhere. Oh, rabbit! Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Damn it, where'd you go? Damn it, stupid gray. Oh, found you. Hurrah! Damn it! God, screw it, forget it. Okay. Oop, what is that? Another rabbit. Okay, I gotta stop getting distracted by these things. Let's go inside Dawn Guard, and she should be in there. If not, I'm gonna rescue the other dude, and then uh, take it from there. I wanna get to- I, I wanna get back to using crossbows as soon as possible, you know? These weapons are sick. They just never get old. Where am I going right now? I'm going the wrong way. Okay, there you go. Where's her- uh, what's her name again? Get uh Sorin Sorin, that's her name. I'm gonna call call her Sorin. I hate how it takes so long to get inside the building. You have to like get around, go around and uh, climb like 10, 10 billion staircases until you finally get there. All right, Sorin, give me the whoa, Durak and Selan. They look pretty intense. After that vampire attack, I think in the previous episode, yeah, they're pretty stirred up. Alrighty. Is she in here? Oh, tell me she's in here for the love of God. Saren, or... I keep forgetting her name. Saren, right? Saren... Sorin, Sorin, whatever. Damn, is anybody in here? If not, we're gonna have to end it here for today, rescue the other dude, and uh, hopefully we can get some crossbows in the next episode. But I'm gonna look for her. Oh, it's it's nighttime. Maybe in the daylight she'll come out. Maybe if we wait a few hours, uh, she'll she'll be right here in the front gates. So let's wait a few hours. Let's wait until morning, or uh, you know, close to uh, noon. By then, everybody should be up. Ready to go. I just want that damn recipe. And I should get rid of the friggin' gyros. Where are they? There's nobody in here. I mean, God. I know they said that, you know, this place was pretty empty, but... Damn. This is, uh... This is just sad. What's in this? What's in here? Oh, it's a... Uh... Oh, no, I just went in a circle. Oh, wow, great. Smelter. Let's see, what What do we... What can we make here? Hmm, an iron ingot. Sure, and a silver ingot. Oh, nice. Okay, great. Let's see, any bolts here? No. God, this place sucks. Alright, so Sorin isn't here, so I'm just gonna get out of here. It's not worth it. Maybe we should just find the other dude, and, uh... And then, uh, just get the bolts later. 
Alrighty. Yeah, what the heck? Where is Soreen? There's nobody here. I'm confused right now. Oh, I hear somebody downstairs. Maybe if I go there, Soreen will be there. Right, Soreen? Tell me too. Nope, it's friggin' Vori. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where she is. Maybe you guys know. You guys are like, young. go here. And I cannot listen to you, unfortunately, but uh, I cannot see her, so I'm gonna just end it here for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in. In the next episode, we're gonna finish this quest, and then we're gonna find out how to make those stupid bolts so we can finally get back to using crossbows. Those sexy, sexy crossbows to own some vampires. It'll be awesome. And uh, look forward to, you know, both the Dawn Guard and the Vampire Lord Let's Plays running in parallel. And of course, be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so yet, so you can be updated on these fantastic Let's Plays. And uh, be sure to follow me on Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter to be updated on all my videos from the ones I upload on TGN to the ones I upload on Yongia. It's gonna be fan freaking fantastic. And uh, yeah, like the video, share it, it'll help out a lot to show your support. And that is it. Thank you very much, and Yong out.